so greeting students that like to study English and especially students who like to study English with me, I look through Charles McCall and I want to take just a few minutes and share with you something that I've learned from my experience about Cambodian English students. Okay, and so these are some common problems for Cambodian ESL students. ESL is English as a second language. And so this is true, at least 95% of Cambodians that study English or speak English they make these problems. <laughs> it's the same problem everywhere in every province. If I teach English at a school, if I teach English at a business or an organization, at least 95% of Cambodian English students, they have these same problems. And so two things. Number one, because I know that this is difficult for you, that's why I teach to try to help you solve these problems. And if you know that you have these problems, then you can really try to study and to speak. I'm talking about speaking English mainly, speaking and writing. But if you know that you have these kind of problems, well then you can try to solve the problem. You can try to change. You can try to do something new, okay? And so I'm sharing these with you because this is a priority for me when I teach English. Because I want you to speak English well, and I want you to write English well, and I want you to be able to listen and understand English as well. And so, especially speaking, I want to help you speak English better. And so here are common problems. Number one, at least 95, maybe 98% of Cambodian English speakers, they don't say the S at the end of the word, and they put an S in the sentence where there is no S. And so the S, S the S makes two sounds, S and Z, all right? But almost all Cambodians, they don't say the S at the end of the word. For example, problems, problems. To say the S, you have to make an extra sound, S, problems. Many students just say problem. Okay, so they don't say the S at the end of the word. And if they're reading, almost every time, I teach a lot of students. I talk to a lot of Cambodians in English and in Piasa Khmer. And if they're reading, they put the S where there is no S. So this is a problem, I want to help you. So when I teach, any almost any lesson, I try to focus on make sure you say the S at the end of the sentence. Okay, number two, similar, a similar problem. They don't say the consonant at the end of the word. They don't say it clearly, and so they can't be understood. I talk to many English students, they can talk English, and a Cambodian can understand a Cambodian, but when a Cambodian speaks with a foreigner, sometimes the foreigner cannot understand them. Simple things. They don't put the S, they don't say the S at the end. Or they put an S where there is no S. Or they don't say the consonant. Don't. T. Okay. I try to teach you the sound of the consonants. The co sound of the consonants. A, B, C, D. B, B, C, K, S, D, D, F, F, G, G, J. And so I try to teach you the, the sound of the consonants so when you see it, you can, you can use it, you can say it. Consonant. So cons the final consonant is the same as the S. It takes an extra action of your mouth. Consonant. Okay, consonant. Understood. Understood. 
when I make the D sound, the T sound, my tongue touches the top of my mouth. The D sound, the, my tongue touches the top of my mouth. I don't say understood, understood, duh, but it's quiet, but clear. The final consonant is quiet, understood, but clear, understood, understood, understood. Quiet but clear. They confuse past and present in the same sentence. Almost all the time. If I ask you, what did you do this morning? Okay, this is a, a question that brings you to something that happened already. That's past tense. So, what you often say, I, 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 I woke up at... 6 a.m. and then I brush my teeth, I eat my breakfast, I drink my water, I do. You started with the past tense, but then you continue talking in the present tense. In English, you can't do that. If you're talking about the past tense, you have to use past tense nouns and past tense verbs and other parts of the sentence. And so, also the ESL students confuse singular and plural. There are singular words and there are plural words. Okay, so many, for example, many times they make this mistake. Many is a plural word. And so therefore, time must be a plural word. You cannot say many time because many is plural, time is singular. Many times. Times is singular. So you have to add the S to make it plural. And so this is a problem also. And they don't use contractions properly. Okay, a contraction in British English, they say short form, but don't. You say don't, don't, no, it's don't, don't, won't, I'll, he'll, he'll get the food, we'll go to the riverside, I'm, I am, you can say I am, he will, we will, they will, you can, but it doesn't sound nice, it doesn't sound nice to the ear. And of course, number six is they have difficulty saying the TH, the, this, that, this computer, that chair, those apples, these apples, this, and the TH at the beginning of the word and TH in the middle of the word, together, man men together, man men this, that, those, is not a da, da, da. That's the D sound, the. It's a, a new sound. It's a, a, called a digraph. TH, th, this, th, th, kind of tickles, this. Anyway, these are six common problems. Let's look at them on your screen. Six common problems for Cambodian ESL students, and maybe 95% of students. They don't say the S at the end of the word, and they put an S where there is no S. In fact, say this with me, okay? You say it, Ni'itam Lakru. Number one, Ni'itam Lakru. Number one, they don't say an S at the end of the word, and they put an S where there is no S. Number two, Ni'itam Lakru. They don't say the consonant at the end of the word clearly so they cannot be understood. Number three, they confuse past and present in the same sentence. Number four, they confuse singular and plural in the same sentence. Number five, they don't use contractions correctly. Number six, they have difficulty saying TH. All right, I'm sharing this with you, number one, because I'm sure that you have most of these problems also. 
but I'm also sharing them with you because my style of teaching is to help you to speak American English clearly. And so I will focus on this during my lessons. All right. And so thank you for listening. And uh, I hope to see you online studying with me or see you in person studying with me so that you can learn to speak American English fluently.